Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? It's a new year. My name is Uzuwe Tsuku. If you don't know me and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you are a family member and you are back from the trenches of 2018 <laughs> and you are here with us, welcome back. We welcome you back to the familia. Today we've got a very interesting video. So I don't know if you guys um, have been following me for a while. For those of you who have, you will know that I did an actual um, top, I don't know, something on my favorite South African YouTubers back in 2017. Whether they have a great feed, whether I like the content they put out, whether I just follow their story and I know who they are and like, or whether they take bomb ass selfies, whatever the case may be, these are the people that I enjoy um, looking at on Instagram. <laughs> there are so many, so many reasons why people follow people on Instagram. And so I've segmented my um, faves, my Instagram faves into different categories. And that's not saying that they are solely for this mold because they do, you know, like, dabble in this and that and the other so it doesn't mean that they are like specifically boxed it but that's how i'm going to categorize them just so that i know what i'm doing <laughs> there's some structure to this video so anyway so the first category is going to be glam i'm going to be telling you guys all about glamorous girls and feeds that are to die for feeds that look like they're out of a catalog of a lifestyle magazine girls who are serving goals like you know those type of girls. And the second one is going to be cool kids. The kids that wear shit that you are like, why does that look good on you? It should not look good on you, but it does. Why? <laughs> so that's gonna be the second category, cool girls, people that know how to take something. It's more, it's basically fashion that is very unconventional and very cool and very, you know, like, Interpreted in in their own way like, you know, just very chilled easy going Those type of girls, you know, so that's gonna be the second category and the third one is going to be artsy anything that is You know like actual artists Those guys yeah them so people who are either photographers or people who are visual artists multimedia artists like all those type of fun things and then the last one will be selfie queens queens that know how to take a good selfie honey that knows the angle that knows good lighting that knows how to snatch and edit your selfie <laughs> so that's going to be the last category and yeah so that's basically what i'm going to be doing if you guys are interested in this video then please stay tuned and continue watching Okay guys, so we're gonna jump straight into my faves. So the first one is someone that I consider a hustler, someone that I consider who knows how to work her way and get what she wants. Obviously all of the stuff that I'm saying and everything that I'm, I'm, I'm saying of these people is based from what I've seen on Instagram. I don't know these people personally, I don't know their lives, I know what's happening, I don't know if they have a backdrop to their life and everything just looks like perfect because there's a backdrop, I don't know. It just looks nice on Instagram and I honestly don't think there's a backdrop, I think that's a real shoot. But anyway, <laughs> besides any of that, so this lady is, her name is Kifilwe Mabone. She go if you might you might know her as um Giffy Boo because she used to go as Giffy Boo but she changed her name to I think that's her full name like her government name. Oh my god, her Instagram feed, you guys. When I tell you that she literally perfection, yes, perfection, everything about her looks perfect, perfect, not a hair out of place. Not anything out of place. When I look at her, I see gold. She's so gorgeous. Her feet is so beautiful. And I love the fact that you saw her progression. Because if you've been following Giffy from like maybe 2011 or so, you will see how she has 
like progressed gradually because it's not like you just got a finished product with her no you saw where she came from and you saw how she put in the work and how she like hustled her ass off you know so it's so beautiful to see someone um someone's journey how they started and how they are and how they will be because obviously i'm sure this is not it for her like she's aiming for bigger and better things so we are here for it you know okay the second one is someone i consider an og someone i consider an like event a veteran yeah influencing melody molale this girl has been around i don't know since when since 2009 I, I i i got introduced to her like obviously on thingy on on facebook she was slaying then she's still slaying now she's relevant as hell she's slaying as hell she still looks the same she hasn't aged a day like i'm so confused what is happening what is she eating that we're not eating okay we know but <laughs> still she is like her content is really really nice it's obviously lifestyle very glam like i said but in the same breath she's very chilled she can wear like jeans and and a plain tee and sneakers and still look expensive that's when you know well, that money runs deep girl it's not just it runs deep then, <laughs> my last one from the glam squad is Linda Mtob. that girl let's just not talk about how gorgeous she is because that is sickening on its own it's actually nauseating how gorgeous she is let's just not touch it then she has the most banging personality i think linda has a really cool personality she doesn't she doesn't take herself too seriously she's very fun she's very like chirpy and very lively but in the same breath, she's very ladylike and classy and elegant and oh my god. I'm just like, for you to be able to be a, such a chameleon, because it's one thing for you to be like very classy and be a lady and da di da sharp, come on, okay. But for you to carry yourself in a way that is still relatable and like her personality, especially when she speaks Zulu, oh my god, I want to die. I want to die and that's besides her acting career because even though I love her I, I hate her as no Monde. I hate no Monde. no Monde is a but that just goes to show that she actually is a talented young lady and that's beautiful so shout out to you Linda we love you okay so the next category is cool chick like you know very cool very glad like not glam but like very cool very chilled very you know like laid back but still snatched you know okay so the first um instagram is refuel refilo ngoyani yeah i hope i pronounced that correctly refuel refilo ngoyani yes she, but she speaks Kosa. i think she's sutu and she speaks multiple languages yeah anyway so her feed is also to die for let me actually open it up and look at it because it's a hiwau it's a holy hiwau like the way that she poses the way that she carries herself like the her aesthetic is very chilled very cool very it's also glam but very very laid back she has really cool selfies and she really loves makeup also so I love this picture is my favorite of her this one oh my god like what how do you look like that it's crazy and she was also part of the essence um campaign last year which is really really cool because she has a gorgeous face okay. and the next one is lulama wolf well i don't know what her surname is I'm, i don't think it's actually wolf but that's her instagram name lulama wolf she's also very chilled very cool and her aesthetic is very earthy and very you know like not necessarily hippie but it's very earthy and like sort of like a purist or like a you know like she's very you know <laughs> 
she's very very chilled i really like like her feet is really nice i really enjoy it and everything about her just screams minimalist like i'm just so effortless everything i do is just like with no effort and but it's just really dope even though you know because like there's a lot of work that goes into creating such aesthetics but the outcome looks effortless which is what they want so like we are convinced that you are just sitting there like that with your bushy hair and you know we buy it we are in this movie Lulama. we are in it with you sis it looks really really nice and then she poses with no makeup like and it still looks like something out of an editorial you know like shoot like it's so nice okay and then the last one from the cool kids is i don't know how to pronounce her name so please don't drag me i don't know whether it's haha or rara <laughs> because it's spelled r-h-a r-h-a and i don't know her ethnicity because maybe i'd get like a vibe if i knew she was maybe like Kosa or you know at least i'd know but okay i'm haha but i don't know i can't tell so i maybe i'll just say rah rah <laughs> i'll put her handle um on the screen so you guys can read for yourself and <laughs> if i'm butchering it but i know she is um i see her a lot in cape town i think she's from cape town or she stayed in cape town or she went to cape town a lot but i used to see her a lot in cape town she was part of the l magazine cover that was so iconic i don't know if you guys can see that with all of these really artsy girls i really 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 love her she and her husband are just out of this world sickening they are disgusting like the way that they are their wedding did you guys see their wedding pictures i'm gonna insert them in the screen they were something out of a magazine literally I think they got a spread somewhere. They they must have gotten a spread somewhere. There's absolutely no way that people would let go of those um, pictures. So, and then the second last category is arty. So these are the people that are artists. Like they are actual. Okay, not saying that people are not artists, but like they in in the traditional term of what an artist is, they are that. Because artists nowadays come in different forms. I mean instagram feeds are actual galleries today so not to take anything away from anybody but these people are traditional artists even though they are not oh sick. i can't explain what i'm trying to say so the first one is the kind sir trevor stirman i mean this guy's feed is actually very sickening i think he's a photographer and a stylist and just like a curator and all of those good things he is oh he is an entrepreneur and a multimedia visual artist so that's basically video images um clothes like multimedia that means like in any different form basically that's what he's saying and you can see it in the way he like the, his feed is just so inspiring when i look at him i'm like oh my god how can i challenge myself you know even though i don't but like when i look at his feet i'm like what can i do to challenge myself artistically because there are people out there who are doing really dope shit there's just so many things that he does like he's really 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 dope if you go on, your, on his instagram you'll obviously see all of the stuff that i'm talking about and you'll see all of the work that he's done like people are working young black people are working in a non-conventional way and they are just pushing boundaries and doing dope shit beautiful and then the second one in the artsy category is tony gum or tony gum because wow sis has been like you know when they say never underestimate what you are and where you come from i feel like tony is like the epitome of that she embodies what it means to be proud of who you are and where you come from and because when she started out like she was she's very artistic she's very like her 
her work is beautiful i think she's a photographer and she's also like an art curator i'm not quite sure what it is exactly she does but i'm basing it based on what i see on instagram she does so so many things so many things and you like we we see art we see a lot of things happening out there we are inspired yes but in, the, in i feel like in most cases we we replicate something that's there but we don't necessarily make it our own well tony when i started seeing her work i was like oh my god this is the first time i'm seeing something that looks like this her backdrops like her backdrops for me was just like what the actual hell is happening here because why didn't i think of that my my grandma has the same you know like linen or my grandma has the same carpet or we have the same wallpaper at home or like you know t things like that that you take for granted and you think like oh my god these are things that are not um creative enough these are things that are not artistic enough but if you actually think about it they actually are black people are actually so creative and you see that a lot of influences come from black culture a lot of artsy influences come from black culture and we underestimate ourselves and we undermine the things that we have when you when i look at her i'm like okay we can do it but she this girl was featured in vogue guys do you do you understand the gravity of that really airplane go away and then the last one from the artsy category is Mante Ribani. This girl. Wow. 2017. No, 2000 and. Yeah, 2017 Afro Punk. I will never forget. That's when I got introduced to this girl. I've heard about her before. I'd heard her music and I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool chick. But when I saw her performing live, what she was wearing, her entire set, the set, just the vibe. I was like, okay, okay, oh, okay, sis. Snatch us, won't you? Snatch everything. This girl she is she was also um part of the she was also a cover girl for l in that campaign i was talking about with all Raha, I, oh. Raha, ra, I really think it's Raha, honestly with her she was um part of that whole um l cover situation that happened and when i tell you this girl's feed and the people that she interacts with and her music like <laughs> we are see devastator and it's one thing for her instagram feed to look like this but like after i saw her at afropunk like i was sold this so the last category is going to be for your favorite instagrammers that know their angles when it comes to their face they know their angles and besides the angle work they are just gorgeous so the first one is Camo M on Instagram says it's still like a break ad break just an ad break for like a couple of days just so that we can cook her and then we can come back you know cuz wow says I can't her face looks like she was sculpted like she is absolutely gorgeous her eyebrows are on fleek her lips are nice and plump and juicy and very perky cute her eyes her nose her entire face like how how, how i'm so, how do you look like that how do you look like that somebody like explain to me how one person can look like that like it's it's actually it's disgusting i'm sick she's gorgeous this girl oh my god and she's an actress so she worked like she's a working actress and she's gorgeous 
she has a good afro. It's not like she's bald headed underneath. Like, Una Nuele is healthy. I'm sick. And then the next selfie queen that I love. I love. I love this girl. I love this girl so much. Her name is Amashe. On um on Instagram, her handle is Amashe Omoshe. And there are no lies detected them that say like her selfies um i have no words you know when people are like like that's her like she is gorgeous and she has a dope personality you know it's one thing like i i like it's one thing for you to be pretty sharp okay not sharp we still recognize yeah you're pretty but on top of that then you have personality then it's like i can like what must we do because the only thing we the only ammo we had is that ah oh, you're boring as hell oh my god but no sis i got boring Oh yeah, oh shrubs, oh her personality. Now what must happen? What must these men do when there are people like Amashe Achia? And then the last one of my selfie queens. Like this girl. Her selfies are rivaled by many, including myself. I actually know her and her name is Naledi Khatebe. Naledi says What? Her face! How does your face look like that? How what did you do for your face to look like that? That's what I need to know. How? How did your face end up looking like, ah, from her forehead to her chin? <laughs> the symmetry, the actual symmetry, everything is in order. Like guys, she's this Naledi is gorgeous, and I know Naledi like she her, and how she looks. On the actual pictures is how she looks in person that's exactly how she looks there's absolutely nothing that is deceiving about her pictures which is actually more sickening because it's one thing for you to see someone on Instagram and be like oh my gosh she's pretty because you always be like not not saying that you're a negative Nancy but like it's human nature to be like ah, ah, it's impossible for someone to be that gorgeous I am trying to know in her life <laughs> struggles no mdase aqua struggles alpha none whatsoever the slage that you see on instagram is the same slage that you see in real life actually i'm done i'm i'm just done i'm done anyway guys so those are my favorite instagrammers and like i said i have segmented them into like four categories and i still have a lot of other people like there are so many people that i love on instagram for me, these are the guys and girls, actually one guy and a shit lot of girls that I am feeling currently and if you guys do not follow them, I will leave every detail in the description box. All of the links to their Instagram um, profiles will be included in the description box and I will obviously then give them, um, give you guys their handles. But yeah, one thing I do want to say though is that any and everything that happens on Instagram, you need to take with a grain of salt. Do not be pressured to want to look a certain way. Do not be pressured to want to live a certain life. Do not be pressured to want to live a certain lifestyle. There are things that are just for Instagram. There's an act. People are working on Instagram. It's not just, uh, mm -hmm, you know, this is just my life. I just woke up like this. Nobody woke up like that. We all know that. But, well, some of them did wake up like that. But what I'm saying is, Instagram is filtered, it's um, curated, it's, you know, like, it's made to look like that on purpose. So, try not to fall into the trap of being pressured to have an Instagram looking like life. 
so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and do not forget to subscribe to my channel do not forget to like this video do not forget to share don't forget to hit that notification button because i will be uploading frequently and happy new year again thank you so much love you bye